Hey, what's going on? Harry Cortina here. So I was loading some Freedom Seeds and uh, I noticed um, a lot of you guys subscribe to my channel lately. Uh, I did a couple of videos on uh, chasing the node, don't chase the lands. Anyway, that tells me that you guys want more content. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but my channel's kind of been dormant for, for a long time. Uh, just because I kind of get busy with other things and... Anyway, uh, long story short, thank you for subscribing. That's how I know you guys are interested, okay? Also, liking my videos. So, this is why I'm doing this one right now. Because, again, I'm noticing that you guys are appreciating the content. So, reloading. I mean, I could go on and on and on forever. But, I'm going to break it down for you guys really simple okay there's really three things that you need for a consistent long range load okay combustion harmonics external ballistics that's it that's all it takes it's really that easy okay so uh, you can literally make three columns on a sheet of paper or whatever and then combustion that's your es okay if your es is not low combustion is it's wrong something's wrong either your primer your powder charge the type of powder uh, case capacity you know variation or neck tension okay it's that's it if your ES is bad fix one of those combustion just think ES is combustion all right if your ES is great but your groups are bad that's better harmonics okay do not mess with your powder charge. Fix your harmonics, okay? How do you do that? Well, seating depth. That's one way. Adjust your seating depth. Or if you have a barrel tuner, you can do that with a barrel tuner. Or you can do both. Um, that's it. Now, if you have a... Uh, I'm just going to call it a uh, freedom delivery machine. <laughs> I can't say the word because YouTube will demonetize my videos. So, anyway... Uh, if you have a freedom delivery machine that delivers your freedom seeds at 100 yards through one ragged hole, and I'm talking about like quarter MOA guys, I'm, you know, when I say there's a lot of guys that get on the comments and they want to argue with me and they talk about how their guns shoot three quarters MOA, I'm sorry, that's not very good. I understand it's good for a lot of people and, and uh, i'm not beating up on you if if that's what your gun does but but i'm talking about you guys can just google my name you, you know quarter moa or better is what i'm looking for okay so when i tell you about something i'm, I'm talking about quarter moa or less uh, and if my rifle shoots half moa my f-class rifle shoots half moa at 100 yards i pull the barrel off okay the barrel is gone okay so Anyway, uh, just so we understand what we're talking about here, okay? So, again, you have really good ES. Your groups at 100 yards are quarter MOA or less consistently. I, I'm not talking about your, your best group ever. I'm talking about consistently, okay? And they won't shoot long range. That means your freedom seeds are inconsistent. That's why I use the yellow boxes okay um if you don't have consistent bc they're gonna deviate from that path right i mean because it's it's really common sense right um if they're going the same speed through the same hole at 100 yards the only thing that could make them deviate is variance in bc and that's what i'm talking about get you some good yellow box get get you some burgers these are the 108s bolt tail this is what i shoot in my 6br my 6x47 i use uh, the 109s the new 109s they're great uh, so again i'm i'm i like common sense reloading i mean you can go and spend days or and i've seen vi uh, youtube videos that that literally go on for hours <laughs> talking about the burning flash holes and and weight sorting brass <sighs> yeah get get you some get you some lapua brass get you some lapua brass get you some burger bullets um i'm using vitavori n150 
in my BR and 47. Um, you know, you can also use Varget, uh, whatever. There's a lot of good powders out there, okay? Get your good powder, get you some good Freedom Seeds, burgers is what I use, get you some Lapua bullet, uh, Brass, and that's it guys that that it it's really that simple get you a you know a good barrel i mean i use brooks but there's a lot of really good ones out there and uh it's really not that hard okay it, it i'll get into this a lot deeper if you guys want me to but i mean my brass prep is literally open the box <laughs> for for prs really i mean Get you some Lapua breasts. But anyway, combustion, harmonics, consistent BC. That's it, guys. Make a column, whatever. What if if you think it affects combustion, put it in the column. Um, but there's so many of these things that don't matter. There's just so much that does not matter that I see guys chasing their tails all day long. Guys, so much of this doesn't matter just so much but anyway quit wasting your time uh, load some ammo go shoot and like I said combustion harmonics consistent BC if uh, so here, here's how you diagnose load right if you have low ES but big groups adjust your seating depth if you have small groups big ES adjust your powder charge or change powders or change primer whatever it takes get it down don't worry about the groups at this point right we're just dealing with combustion get that combustion where it needs to be you know low es don't worry about the groups to be honest when i'm doing powder charge test i don't even shoot at paper i don't care i don't care what the groups look like i'm not worried about groups at this point i'm trying to get my load to be as consistent as possible and that's over a chronograph you know again do you have to have a chronograph no you can shoot at paper you can, you can kind of get there but i get there really really fast with the chronograph and i can go in more detail about this later on if you guys want subscribe that's how i know that you guys are interested and like my video but um again get your es low adjust your seating depth and uh shoot some of these and then you don't have to worry about anything else it's that easy <laughs> Let me know if you guys want more videos. How do you let me know? I already told you. Subscribe and like my videos and share them with your friends so that they all can see them too. Flame suit on. I know there's going to be a lot of people in the comments. Like every video that I put out, they're so mad about me putting out this type of content. I don't know why they get mad. Um, I know there's going to be a ton of people get on there on the comments about positive compensation. That's another topic that we can cover some other time. But for now... Combustion, harmonics, consistent BC. That's it. <laughs> all right. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this. And I will see you next time. And I hope all your groups are one whole. See ya.